Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We love you, adore you, bow down before you. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Son of God, what a wonder you are. Son of God, what a wonder you are. You cleanse my soul from sin. Send the Holy Ghost within. Son of God, what a wonder you What a comfort you are Holy Ghost, what a comfort you are You lead us and guide us You live right inside us Holy Ghost, what a comfort you In the beginning and before all ages, the Word was God, and He humbled Himself to be born the Savior of the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we celebrate our Eucharist today, let's bring our intentions here. At the foot of the altar, praying for the Lord's mercy and grace, even as we are moving towards the epiphany. And we ask the Lord's strength so that as the world came to know Jesus, that through us, others will come to know the power and mercy of the Lord. Let's close our eyes, bring ourselves and our intentions here. And asking the Lord pardon and forgiveness, we pray together. I confess to, to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the nativ nativity of your only begotten Son wondrously began for your people, the work of redemp redemption. Grant, we pray, to your servants such firmness of faith that by his guidance they may attain the glorious prize you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, who was the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love 
that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers but if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brothers in need yet closes his heart against him how does god's love abide in him let children let us not little children let us not love in word or talk by in but in deed and in truth by this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before him for whenever our heart condemns us god is greater than our heart and he knows everything beloved if our heart does not condemn us we have confidence before god the word of the lord thanks be to god your res- responsorial psalm your response is cry out with joy to the lord all the earth cry out with joy to the lord all the earth cry out with joy to the lord all the earth serve the lord with gladness come before him signing for joy singing for joy your response cry out with joy to the lord all the earth know that he the lord is god he made us we belong to him we are his people the sheep of his flock your response cry out with joy to the lord all the earth enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with sing- songs of praise give thanks to him and bless his name your response cry out with joy to the lord all the earth indeed how good is the lord eternal his merciful love he is faithful from age to age your response cry out with joy to the lord all the earth please rise for the gospel hallelujah hallelujah a holy day has dawned upon us come you nations and adore the lord today a great light has come upon the earth hallelujah hallelujah the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord at that time jesus decided to go to galilee he found philip and said to him follow me now philip was from bethsaida a city of andrew and peter philip found nathanael and said to him we have found him of whom moses in the law and also the prophets wrote jesus of nazareth the son of joseph nathanael said to him can anything good come out of nazareth philip said to him come and see jesus saw nathanael coming towards him and said of him behold an israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit nathanael said to him how do you know me jesus answered him before philip called you when you were under the fig tree i saw you nathanael answered him rabbi you are the son of god you are the king of israel jesus answered him because i said to you i saw you under the fig tree do you believe you will see greater things than these and he said to him truly truly i say to you you will see heaven opened and the angels of god ascending and descending on the son of man the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ a family i know with four children were traveling um back to india from where they reside and when they reached the place um their their baggage they came to the carousel where they collect their baggage they came with the kids and as the baggage was coming there were cross signs on it cross signs basically mean that uh, as it has passed through the scanner the um, 
they believe that there might be things that require customs duty to be paid. So those cross signs were there. And as they were moving with their bags towards the customs area, one of the customs officers came and addressed this the, um, uh, the father of the house, so the husband, by his first name and second name, and told him, uh, sir, we would like to check the bags, but mentioned the name. And one of the kids, tiny one, was fascinated because he saw a person, a perfect stranger, who called his dad by the first and second name. And so the family told me he looked at this customs officer and asked him, you are like a prophet, you know my father's name. And he kept asking, the child kept asking the parents, he's like a prophet, he knows my father's name. Basically, he came to know is because on the baggage, the name is written and that is how the customs officer addressed, addressed them. But it was, it was what the child felt. He's like a prophet, he knows my father's name. Well, today's gospel passage is pretty interesting because Jesus meets Nathaniel for the first time. And even though Philip has come to Nathaniel and told him, we might have found the Messiah, and it is Jesus of Nazareth. This is Nathaniel's response. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And then he keeps going with Philip. And when Jesus meets him, Jesus tells him, here is a true Israelite in whom there is no deceit at all. And Nathaniel asks him, where did you get to know me? Where did you get to know me? And this does not surprise Nathaniel till that moment because anybody could make a statement. Here is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. But then with Nathaniel's statement, where did you get to know me? Jesus responds, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Now that fascinated Nathaniel. Fascinated Nathaniel, like maybe the child got fascinated in his mind. Someone's told my father's name. He knows so much. Well, for, for Nathaniel now, it was a fascinating moment. He has, he has just told me where I was sitting. And that is why Nathaniel would respond in that excitement. He would say, you are the king of Israel. Rabbi, you are the son of God. Now that's surprising. Just because Jesus said, Nathaniel, I saw you sitting under the fig tree even before Philip called you. And for him to get so excited for him to say, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. So he's so excited about this whole thing. Fascinated, but maybe a little childish. And that is why Jesus then tells him, do you believe because I told you I saw you under, under the fig tree? Is that all the reason why you feel that I'm the son of God? Because I told you something that you were doing 10 minutes ago? Is that why you are, you are so excited? And then Jesus says, I tell you, you will see the heavens opened. And now the Lord is making that connection between the earth and the heaven. He's making that connection between what is here and what the kingdom of God is. And he says, you will see the heavens open. The angels of God ascending and descending into heaven. Far more deeper than just a revelation about something that happened 10 minutes ago. Nathaniel, you cannot believe in me as the son of God just because I told you you were sitting under the fig tree. Rather, there are deeper truths. There are deeper truths connected to, to the kingdom of God. That is what I have come for. I have come so that I will open that pathway from the, from the heavens to the earth and from the earth to the heavens. The angels ascending and the angels descending. There is something far more deeper than just me telling you something that happened 10 minutes ago, Nathaniel. Well, that is a reminder to us. It's a beautiful reminder to us as well. You know, you go into John chapter 4 and you read about the, the woman, the Samaritan woman by the well. 
Jesus and this woman have a conversation with each other and the deeper the conversation is going the more the lord is revealing things about her life but it isn't like what he's revealing what he revealed to Nathaniel to Nathaniel he just revealed that he was sitting under a fig tree but this was far deeper there was a deeper conversation that was happening between Jesus and the Samaritan woman and Jesus tells her all the areas of her sin that needs repentance something far deeper and then she goes to the people in John chapter 4 verse 29 she goes into the city and she tells the people come and see a man who told me everything i have ever done he cannot be the messiah can he and that revelation that he is the messiah just as nathaniel made a declaration you're the messiah but there's a difference between the two for nathaniel it was just because jesus revealed something that he was doing 10 minutes ago but for this woman because the lord revealed something that was far deeper her areas of sin that needed a change but that is how she saw the messiah in a more in in with more depth than understanding than nathaniel and that is why the lord corrects nathaniel and tells him nathaniel you will see far greater things things that are connected with the kingdom of god the opening of the pathway to the kingdom of god and that's a rep, that's a reminder to us as well as much as the lord is speaking to nathaniel he's speaking to us as well sometimes we can get so fascinated and carried away if there's a man of prayer or or or, or person who comes and tells us a few things about our lives maybe something that happened in the past and they are praying over us and they say something and we get so fascinated and excited the lord said wait a while what are you thinking are you fascinated because because someone reveals something about your life is your relationship with me based on that shouldn't it be something far deeper something that is connected with my kingdom not just because someone has told you something about your future or someone has prophesied something about what's going to happen or someone's just made a reference to something that's taken place in the past no that is not the reason why we acknowledge jesus as the messiah that is not the reason why we start believing that is not the reason why we hold on to the son of god rather In Luke chapter 10 verse 20 the word says nevertheless don't rejoice at all of this that the spirit submit to you but rejoice that your names are written in the kingdom of God in heaven that is where you celebrate with me that is why we are kingdom people that is why everything we do is directed towards how i experience Jesus as the messiah who is leading me towards the kingdom not just because some i I've, i've got excited because someone has told me something about my life be it the past or be it the future that should not be the reason why we are in a relationship with the lord let's not get carried away let's be people who sit in prayer to understand what does jesus want me to understand about him and about his kingdom that is when we grow into mature disciples let that be our prayer as well lord jesus we pray as we make our journey a journey of discipleship that we don't get over excited over someone telling something about my past or my future because that is not actually important lord what is important is how i understand you as the messiah by repenting for my sins like the samaritan woman did what is important is me understanding that i'm moving towards the kingdom of god that the heavens open and the pathway to the kingdom has been opened for me and i need to learn how to walk through it so give me the grace and the humility and the maturity jesus to be a disciple who seeks to know my messiah deeper 
and who thirsts to walk the pathway to the kingdom of God. Amen. In bread we bring you, Lord, our bodies labor. In wine we offer you our spirits grieve. We do not ask you, Lord, who is my neighbor, but stand united now. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him, in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjitha, Archbishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Vincent de Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the love of the Father, let us pray the prayer Jesus so lovingly taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a meaningful and loving sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. On Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body, I drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the depths of the earth will I cry unto Thee. For That is 
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, keep, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them, and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Dear friends, just a reminder, we will be having our retreats, our January retreats here in the Retreat Center on the second weekend and the fourth weekend of, uh, of Jan. The first retreat will be a physical healing retreat. So more than welcome to be here. Let others know as well, especially those who are sick. Please do bring them into the presence of Jesus. And we will be specifically praying for the Lord to touch our physical ailments and sicknesses. And the second retreat in Jan will be a deliverance retreat. So all those areas of our life that we are, we are thirsting for a deliverance from the afflictions that we are going through, let's pray together for that. So please do let others know. Please most welcome for our retreats. So that is uh, the flyer will be out there and, um, and you, can, you can pass that on to others as well. It will be on our website and on our Facebook page as well. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. God bless you, Father. I worship you, I worship you. to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. <laughs>